Unit 7 Review Question 1. A small doll is 12 inches tall, and a large doll is 36 inches tall. And our first question asks, how many times as tall is the large doll compared to the small doll? So I made a diagram up here just for us to get a feel, and we're comparing the large doll to the small doll. And we want to see, notice it said how many times as tall. So we don't want to find the difference, which would be 24 inches. We want to see how many copies of the small doll would it take to equal the large doll. Or equivalently, we'd want to know, we'll just use small. What number would we multiply by the small doll's height to get the large doll's height? Now remember, this is equivalent uh, through fact families. If this number is missing, we could divide the large by the small uh, and use division to find this exact amount. So we're going to find the large height divided by the small height, which would be 36 inches over 12 inches. Now notice our inches cancel and we're just left with 36 divided by 12 which is 3. So the large doll is 3 times as tall as the small doll. And looking at our diagram, let's see that that makes sense. This is 12 inches. And notice if we have three copies of 12 inches, it totals 36 inches. Let's look at the next one. Here we want to reverse the direction. How many times as tall is the small doll compared to the large doll? Okay. So this is inverting the relationship. For now, we want to see in this case, since a small doll is smaller, what fraction of the large doll is the small doll? And that fraction is going to be our multiplier. So we'll write it as the small height divided by the large height. And that's 12 inches over 36 inches. Notice the inches cancel, and this will reduce as a fraction, which we don't have to do, but we, we will. Uh, they each have a common factor of 12, and this is one third. So the small doll is one third times as tall as the large doll. Let's look at the next one. Here we have the tires on a small car have a 33 inch diameter and the tires on a large truck have a diameter of 53 inches. Okay. And we're asked how many times, so again times indicating a multiplicative relationship, is the diameter of the large truck's tires compared to the small car's tires. So again, to find this value, okay, so notice here we're finding compared to the small cars, there'd be at least one copy of the small cars and the trucks and then a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to write this as the ratio of, we'll just put large diameter for the truck and the small diameter for the car. And this is 53 inches over 33 inches. The inches cancel, and we just write this as the ratio 53 over 33. Okay, so the large cars, oh, I guess it's a truck, not a car, so the large trucks tires 
diameter is 53 over 33 times as large as the car. So notice here we didn't have a ratio that simplified to a whole number and typically in these problems we'll leave this as a simplified, this is actually simplified, they have no common factors, a simplified improper fraction. If you want to get a better feel for this you could actually divide the numbers. Notice it's about 1.6, that means you'd have one whole car diameter length and then 0.6 of one. Okay, and that gives us a good idea, but it's not necessary in this problem. Okay, and similarly in this problem, we're just going to reverse the direction. Compare the small car, car's tires, to the large truck's tires. Okay, well this means, okay, notice it's going to be a fraction. We want to see, uh, compare the truck, which is smaller, sorry, the car, which is smaller, to the truck, which is larger. So should be car diameter. Now, last time I wrote large and small, but let's use car and truck. And truck diameter equals 33 inches over 53 inches, which reduces to 33 over 53. Okay, so the diameter or the small cars tires diameter is 33 over 53 times as large as the trucks. Okay, and that's just writing it in a complete sentence. Our necessary ratios are here in red. Let's look at the next one. Use the following information for three through six. So in Kate's yoga class, there were 15 women. Oops, that's given. Let's use yellow for given. 15 women for every four men. Write the following ratios for this situation using the given numbers. Include units in each of your answers. Okay. So here uh, we're asked, find the ratio of men to women. Okay. And whenever you're asked to find a ratio, okay, look for the word two. This is the uh, unit, in this case men, is going to be your numerator. The unit after two is going to be your denominator. So we'll just put N and D. Okay. So this ratio would be four men to 15 women. Now we're asked to find the ratio of women to men. Okay. So notice this is just reversing the direction. And for many different reasons and application problems, we're going to want these in different orders. So this would be 15 women to four men. Let's look at the next one. Find the ratio of men to students in the class. So here, there's a new value we're going to have, and it's a total. So the idea is we're given the two parts of this whole. The yoga class is the whole of the class, and to find all of the students, we would need to sum up these numbers. So students, we'll put number of students equals 15 plus 4 or 19. Okay. So the ratio of men to the total number of students in the class is 4 men to 19 students. And similarly for the next one, the ratio of women to students in the class or the total is 15 women to 19 students. Okay. 
Just one last note. Um, notice that these are part-to-part -part ratios. We're looking at the two parts of the class and comparing them. Okay. Here you might be able to see, if we reduce this, this is almost four. So there's almost about four women for every one man in the class. Okay. Looking at these, we could see the fraction of men or women in the class. So the class is four nineteenths men and fifteen nineteenths women. Okay. And again, how we write these um, in application problems is going to depend on what we're looking for and what we need to solve for.